Hello, I'm Femi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to resolve or avoid the error the AWS access key ID you provided does not exist in our records when you access an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket with any of the following, an AWS SDK, AWS command line interface, or an application. Let's get started. The error, the AWS access key ID you provided does not exist in our records occurs when there's an issue with the access key that you are using. Either the access key was deleted or the associated AWS identity role or user was deleted. To resolve these issues, follow the steps. Check the credentials that you are using. If you are using AWS CLI, then use this command to list the stored access key. Run this command to display the information about the IAM identity that's used to authenticate the request. After you verify the credentials that are used, verify that the credentials are still valid. If you are using an AWS identity and access management role, then follow these steps. Log into the Management Console. Navigate to the AWS Identity and Access Management Console. Go to Role. Verify that the IAM role is listed. If the role isn't listed, then create an IAM role. If you are using an IAM user, then follow these steps. Choose Users. Verify that the IAM user appears. If the user isn't present in the console, then create a user. If the IAM user is listed, then choose the username to view the summary page. Choose the security credentials tab. Scroll to the access keys and check that the access keys in use are present and that the status is active. If the access key is deactivated, then activate the key. If the access key isn't present, then create another key. Note, if you are using a session token, Make sure that you pass the session token with the access key and the secret access key. Use session tokens if you want to use multi-factor authentication to protect programmatic calls to specific AWS API operations. MFAs allow IAM users to call the get session token API with this command and then submit an MFA code that's associated with the IMFA device. The temporary security credentials that are returned from the call allow IAM users to make programmatic calls to the API operations that require MFA authentication, such as the following commands. If the MFA authentication credentials aren't supplied or the wrong temporary credentials are passed, then the API returns an error. Note, be sure that you pass the session token with the access key and the secret access key. And now, you know how to resolve or avoid the error the AWS access key ID you provided does not exist in our record when you access an Amazon S3 bucket with any of the following, an AWS SDK, AWS CLI, or an application. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.